My name is Topo Kewahama. Uh, but I was raised up Kujwane. I did my primary school Kujwane. I did my junior school Kujwane. Uh, my senior school, that's when I went to, to Sepa Pito Kukanya. Um, I come from a big family, a family of eight. I have six sisters and a, a brother. Um, from Sepa Pito Senior, I went to university, University of Botswana, where I did my BSc Part 1. From there on, I went overseas. I went to, to Dublin in Ireland uh, to further my studies in, in dentistry. I was in the uh, Trinity College University in Dublin. I finished my uh, dentist uh, training in 2011. I worked for the government. I was posted in Francis Town uh, one and a half years. And then I came to Haburone. I worked in Julia Mulefe Clinic in Block 9 for another one and a half years. So after those uh, total of three years, that's when I um, started my own uh, clinic. <laughs> the nature of our business, it's, uh, it's, it's very capital intensive. For Troka Maria Mentos, a dental clinic. You need uh, over 200,000 to start. Um, you can use that, but if you want to start quality, <laughs> you need to spend a lot of money. So I, I had to take a loan uh, from the bank uh, to start uh, because um, the business is not going to be Smaller in terms of funding, if you go to the bank or something, so boring, I got a smaller business. But smaller, I will allow our army is gonna work about the adding along. But if you say you want a personal loan, give you a personal loan. So get a personal loan, start a business, pay it off. So I had challenge in our funding, but um, I just had to go to the bank. For an hour, I don't worry, I don't more business and that is very important. We equip ourselves with the, the skills that I needed. Um, as a small business owner, you need to be everything. Okay, you need to be your own accountant, you need to be your marketing and sales manager, you need to know what's happening or receptioning, you need to, to be a dentist. So it's not only be, um, being a, a professional, it's being a business person, an all-round business person. and. Uh, we like that a lot, so that's where I need. I think we we need to improve. So sorry, the skill is our master business. So that we we compete rather than just working as a dentist business. it it has to be a business first of all. What um, dental or oral health? Hi. But um, oral health. Maybe it's because we're on a dentist, we don't uh, go out to them and uh, educate. But but to have it's a third, so they don't just come to the dentist, okay? And we need people coming. So we find that people come only when there's an emergency, something. But but since one about hella, people are supposed to come to the dentist for the checkup every six months uh, and things like that. But the returns are very push about to man or for a badly. That's one of the challenges uh, I, I faced. When I when I listen to this, I can tell you some more. I think things sort of changed along the way. Um, like about little rapole, um, he hear about to. Uh, but now what I'm thinking, the um, business is linked or associated with uh, oral health and then to invest in other, other businesses as well. So for how this is a healing thing, um, obviously, uh, that's, that's uh, an opportunity. And then 
um, who, who the right city ones in Florida are not necessarily related to what I'm doing now. I'd say go for it, do it, and um, because hi uh, hi has here neba and uh, dentistry has only other businesses more than hi. I can do like a mole mo. Hi 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 um, so it's it's a very lucrative um, business, I would say. Um, this is not related to dentistry only. It's across all all businesses, especially Africa, Botswana, Botswana, who risky name. So if you are thinking about doing it. Uh, but they, there's the right time to do it, so go for it.